Hello everyone, welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires. Last time, Chaos start Chaos basically got its face wrecked in. All we have to do is wipe out Archaeon and the rest of the Chaos Hordes, and as long as I wipe them out before Archaeon responds, we are golden! Also, something I missed on this guy. He needed another rank and strike the runes. I forgot that and I do apologize for doing so. So! Um. Hmm. They have a lot of hell cannons. But I have Vanguard deployment. I don't think I'm going to win, mostly because of their giants, but I'm going to fight this anyway. Because after this, I expect to be able to wreck them with the garrison. Possibly an auto resolve, depending on how badly I screw up Archeon the Ever Chosen. The main issue are going to be the giants and the fact he has, for some absurd reason, four hell cannons. Because four hell cannons is ridiculous. I'm not even exaggerating. It is ridiculous. Now the issue here is that I don't really have anything to counter the ever chosen. My lord is not dangerous enough to actually go toe to toe with him. He doesn't have any sort of legendary artifacts. And that a lot of my troops are wounded. Wounded troops, for obvious reasons, are not something I'm happy about at all. Also, chosen with great weapons. I'm not worried about halberdiers, because while they have AP, they also have a slower attack rate. Hidden stat that... I don't know why it's hidden. Really don't. Hammerish. One... Two, three, four, one. let the vengeance begin. The clans unite. Now I'm going to put my Thunderers here in the center of the line, not in anticipation of actually using them there, but rather than the anticipation of being able to shoot at their giant wherever it comes from. Lord of Clan Morgrim, War of Vengeance. War Master Engineer is there for the same reason. Now, where are the big issue? There are the big issue, but it's not actually too much of a problem positioning-wise. Good. Next up, kill the hell cannons. Trolls are also a problem. Shoot the trolls. And of course, shoot the Great Weapon Chosen, because Great Weapon Chosen are assholes. Also, upgrade armor piercing missile damage on the Grudge Thrower just so it kills those bloody Hell Cannons even faster. I don't have any of the really nice buffs, unfortunately, so that will have to do. Can I throw out the Rune of Oath and Steel? No, it is far too short range. Let's actually start the battle now. No, no, I don't want you to, I don't want you to, oh god, this is bad, okay, uh. Alright, play. You should probably also shoot those that chaos giant. Quo 
On you guys, all guard mode. Control group one, all guard mode. Oh, so I threw the flaming sword of Fruin on the Chaos Giant. That's actually very nasty as an ability. Shoot into the mass, shoot into the mass. Great weapon chosen are mostly wrecked. Mostly. I wish they were entirely wrecked, to be blunt. Charge! You can at least do something in close quarters. Ah, that Hellcat is down to just its uh, dude, so uh, continue artillery fire on that location. Let us a reckoning! Quarrelers! War of vengeance! Honored! Probably should have seen how many troops I started with, but oh, they're going for rear charge with my quarrelers. The quarrelers do have great weapons, so they will deal a good bit of AP damage at least. They're also running on Locus of Power. Oh, right, Sandful of Doom, Sandful of Doom, right. I actually forgot I had one of those on. The Chosen have already claimed nine Iron Breakers in close combat, despite Iron Breakers being freaking Iron Breakers. You're unable to fire. Fine then. Get them down. I have no idea why that Kalkan is doing what it is, but whatever. Getting close. Push! Right! That will be fixed! Thunderous! Now is it in reckoning! The runes are cast! Just keep killing Chaos Knights, damn it! Thank you again. You guys shoot into the mass. You guys shoot that giant because he's causing real problems now. You guys shoot into that mass. Just keep shooting the giant with all of my thunderers because giants are assholes. Shoot there. Keep shooting there. Kill them. Runesmith, help kill the giant because you do deal a decent supply of weapon strength damage uh, to... 237 plus 106 is nothing to sneeze at. The Chaos Giant is, is always a problem. Alright, Artillery, you are still focused. You are now focusing on another broken Hell Cannon. You guys break that Hell Cannon. Wait, my hammers are doing literally nothing? What? Um, the units except for Archaeod in the center are getting absolutely wrecked. But oh, but this flank is having significantly larger issues, so... Fight! Dirt! You're bugging out a bit. Shoot the wizards! Angry Beards! Drain the axe! Yes! Such unholy things. Tail strings! Great weapon chosen coming back in. Hammers on those chosen with great weapons right now. I want them gone. Well, they chosen. They fought until they had literally two guys left. Oh, the giant died. When did the giant die? I did not notice that at all. Um, I feel kind of dumb now. 
I guess it was the quarrelers focusing on it. Damn. That giant's dead too. Good. Very good, in fact. Almost unbelievably good. Heck, I'd call it unbelievably good if it weren't for the fact that, well, I can believe it. Now, does Ar actually, is Archeon on his... Archeon does have the crown of domination, but did he get his perk that makes him unbreakable? He did, so I'm going to have to kill the Ever Chosen. I suspect I'm going to lose a lot of good Dawi to that. Get on the Ever Chosen. Kill and kill. And kill and... Oh, Runesmith needs to... Throw this on Archeon just for a little extra damage. Pop that. I'm not even sure where to put my entrenchment at this point. I guess over here? Yeah, let's do it. What the hell? Oh. You're out of ammo. I hadn't noticed. Isn't that awkward? Okay, I did not actually expect to win this. I'll be blunt. My Iron Breakers are still complete bullshit. I suppose that's what happens when you have 80... 95 blade effects. Why do you have 95 and this guy has 83? You only have one rank above him. Is it exhaustion? Is exhaustion actually going to apply, apply penalties? Well. I also say I'm losing armor though, and I'm clearly not, so I think there might be a bug or something going on, so that makes no sense. Because these guys are the only damn things that I have that can hurt Archeon. Pull these guys out. I, all I need are Iron Breakers to try and tar pit Archeon until he drops dead. Even though I, he's going to deal so much damage to me in the meantime. He's never chosen is a bastard to fight. Surprising absolutely no one who knows what he's known for. Ah, and he activated Flaming Sword of Free. It's weak versus a single combatant, I know, but it is a drip feed of damage at least. Yeah, rest of Archeon's army has been sh sh shattered. The only question is how many dwarves Archeon himself will kill. And unfortunately, I know the answer to that. It is a lot. The Ever Chosen is terrifying and incredibly dangerous. 10% physical resist, 35% ward save, and Kindle Flame. Not to mention other tricks like, well, the Slayer of Kings. And Frenzy, which is always on because now he has Unbreakable! 21, good, now we are dead. That's where through all 4.3k of his remaining HP. this. I don't think auto resolve properly counts in Iron Breaker grenades. Is in power. Simply because, well, it seems to undervalue how ridiculous a front line of Iron Breakers is. So I'm not sure why this unit has 95 melee nice defense and the others have 85, Come though. Can I put a banner in here and then forget about it? 
here he goes with Kindle Flame, which means his... Oh, no, he doesn't actually deal fire damage. Does he? He does it if he has the flaming sort of queen on. But he doesn't, so... It's fine. Well, it's okay. Fifteen seconds until Master Rune of Oath and Steel. Gotta love your Master Runes. They are scary bastards indeed. It looks like the most of the damage is being dealt by my heroes. By my hero and my lord just giving him a great big smack. Make no mistakes like these herbs did. Just lay into the bastard already. He scaled 23 good Dowie on his stinky horse. Come on! Look, he knocked Iron Breakers aside by smacking them with his shield. We fight for our hold against this spawn! Technically not a spawn. If he was a spawn, he'd be much less dangerous. Fun fact! In the fluff, if you say the words chaos spawn, there's a good chance he'll turn into a chaos spawn. Yeah, it seems like most of the damage output is my rune lord and my rune smith, because they're actually dealing good chunks of it. Iron Breakers just don't have the damage output to actually significantly wound them or chosen. They can, however, very efficient target now. And seems he's noticed this because he's gone to focus in on my lord. Oh dear. He's got a lot better damage output than I do. Like, look at the stat buffs over me that he's running. Look at how much higher he is. It's ridiculous. The Ever Chosen is not the champion of chaos for nothing. Damage, so I fear he may as well join in and just the vain hopes that I'll actually be able to do something with this bastard. Still, Never Chosen can kill entire units by himself at lower levels, and I'm not even joking. You can see where you can see where the sheer killing power of this boy comes from. He is absolutely horrifying to fight. Engineers. With his magical attacks, he can probably take Belagar and his adventuring party for a whirl and a win. <laughs> Looks like my master engineer got the kill there. Yeah, I'll call that a heroic victory, but honestly, Archeon was the most Greek-ish heroic, at least, because good grief. He got stuck in, and he did not stop being stuck in. It was kind of horrifying! I am glad I put my Quarrelers on the Chosen as soon as I could, though, because good grief, they got 22 kills even with that. They barely, they were mostly dead and facing Iron Breakers, and they still got 22 kills of Iron Breakers. Just... Good grief.
Like, that's all I can say here. Good grief. I am glad I wiped the Hell Cannons and Giants, though, along with Everchosen himself, because, let's face it, we've seen what Chaos Infantry lines without Chosen do to dwarves. Now, if the AI starts actually spawning large numbers of Chosen, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. I am going to be in a lot of trouble. Like, good grief. Chosen are horrifying. And I do not want to face them in open combat. I'd much rather face them from walls where I can use my towers to wear them down a bit. Or where they just have to be drip fed against my iron breakers so they can't take advantage of their ridiculous quality quite as much. Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen. Chosen are very fun to play with as Chaos, though. There's good odds I'm going to make my next go after the Mortal Empire's run of... This, and then a Hikaru run? Chaos. Unless, of course, the next DLC race is announced by then, in which case I'll do that. Watch it be Chaos Daemons. That'd be fun as hell. <laughs> All right, total elimination of the of Archeon's Horde. Or how'd I get that? Well, whatever. Ah, right! The Ever Chosen may rise again and again, but he will forever be consigned to oblivion. Attribute immune to psychology. Fear and terror no longer apply to this lord, Bronze Scour Scowl. I forget, does everyone in the area in the group get Doom Slayer? Nope, just the lord. Okay. Funny, because the Master Engineer was the one who actually took the bastard out. Also, Ballistics Calibration, because more shoots. Still, Ever Chosen's gone. That's going to help a lot. And now we have this. Next level up. Public order plus two in adjacent provinces. The unit XP up doubles. And I get magical attacks for all armies in Karak 8 Peaks province and the adjacent provinces to Karak 8 Peaks. That's no joke. This counts, I believe, this counts, this counts, and this counts. That's quite a bit of territory with magical attacks, otherwise known as, hey, physical resist? Uh, I'm out, gun bag completed, it's upgrade. It's now making 5,250 gold pieces a turn. I can make it make more, actually. I'm not gonna, but I could. Heck, you even argue that I should. Just that I'm not going to. <laughs> Primarily because of, well, time. All right, Black Crag, let's get you a reinforced gate because I'm at the point where I'm making a lot of money. The king's command. Punish the grudge makers. Bully. The Norse. Thank and you. Hold. Killed chariots. Killed great weapon morale. Wow. Uh, he killed a lot of things, actually. Good job, sir. Unassigned skill points. Where? You're some random ass garrison army. All right, uh, foe seeker then. If you can get that and it's a nice personal buff. All right, last time we put Belagar in location with the other army, which is only under threat from, from Darzius. And well, he has some very high tier beast man units like the shielded minotaurs. 
We have the very irritating issue of no forest penalty, because... I will note, I'd say vanilla minotaurs are better than uh, shielded minotaurs outside of dealing with range attacks, because they, for some reason, they do get 55% missile resist, but yeah. Best gores are also pretty damn scary, because they power stance great axes. Gores, I'm not really worried about. Best gores have lots of AP damage. Their giants, I believe, are the exact same as anyone else's giants. Large, aggressive, and mostly drunk. I love that description. It's kind of dumb, but I love it anyway. Never. never say never, Olaf Blood Reaper. Man, look at these realms. The Empire owns quite a lot of territory. The issue is that key points of the territory have been taken by the Wood Elves. Are the Empire still at war with the Wood Elves? It I really hope they are. To see they our are. Allies of the good. <sighs> oh, what's that? Uh, oh, this is a new one. Castle right guard. It's pretty good, as you can see. There's not really too much else to say for it. It's basically a Reichsguard focused thing. It's an upgrade of the normal Reichs fort. Very little else to say. It's just pretty darn good. It probably should give Reichsguard garrison to this, but honestly, the Empire already has three Reichsguard and the default Altdorf garrison at max, so. Eh? You know? Just sort of. Eh? Not much else to say. This that reminds me. No, Carolbird did not build its cool thing. Carolbird is boring. It has not done the cool thing. Stop being boring and go do your cool thing. Wow, Wolfenberg not only has reinforced walls, but tier 4? Uh. Wow, any Chaos stack attacking Wolfenberg would be in for a hell of a fight, even under AI control. I could probably beat off most Chaos stacks under, if I was in command of that, frankly. I am wondering what the last four cards of this are, though. Four cards of Chaos spawn is pretty scary, because they have really high weapon strength, which gives them decent AP damage, even though they're not AP damage focused. They're... <sighs> Sorry. Their unbreakable function is also pretty scary in, in low of that. However, they also have Chosen. Please note, Baseline Chaos Warriors have better charge bonus than Chosen, but overall, two points of charge bonus doesn't make up for 16 points of melee attack. 32-12, as you can see. 26-10. Yeah. Alright. Now Chaos should take at a minimum, absolute minimum, one more turn. And hopefully three more turns. If it waits three turns, I will be confident in my ability to take on multiple stacks of Chaos troops. If it waits four turns, I will be very confident in it. If it waits five turns, I will be assured. Now, now, while this does have very poor replenishment, I will it be in camping, which will raise my replenishment quite significantly. Onward. Actually, I'm going to cancel these two hammers recruiting. I'll remember that I want hammers there, but in four turns, if I can, I'll go to Volksglad. Actually, no. Make it three turns, because then I can have some backup garrison troops. Now, they won't be very high-quality troops at Volksgrad, but they will be extra meat for the grinder, basically. Let's end the turn.
And of course, have very little to talk about because at this stage in the game, while we can see a lot, there's not actually much to do. Like, yeah, I could expand, I could try and push back southwards, I could do all sorts of clever maneuvers there, but... I don't want an entire video that takes a whole turn. It's really one of the issues that you run into late game in this, and it's one of the things that... I really am glad that they did away with kind of in Total War Warhammer 2, because you don't want to go through entire places in one turn. You want to, you know... You want to just hunt down your books, or get your relics, or do your missions, or whatever. It's simple. It makes sense. It's reasonable. Now for the faction that's going to cause me a lot of problems, the Warriors of Chaos. What are you going to do, Warriors of Chaos? How the frack are you back? What's he doing here? <sighs> the Wood Elf AI appears to have deployed two stacks of troops. <sighs> so there's an ambush right there. Again, I'm not sure why the Fan Chandras has Knights Errant. I guess they're just sort of following her around, hoping to prove themselves and forgetting that limited army slots are a thing in this game. Because fluff-wise, you'd always have a bunch of knights er knights errant to around the enchantress, trying to look to prove themselves as she was actually out in the field. But knights errant aren't really all that good. They're easy to get, they're quick to get, and they're decent, but they're not good. And if you can recruit things like questing knights, you should damn well not be recruiting knights errant. Because questing knights are actually kind of bullshit. Like, it's arguable which one is better, Grail or Questing Knight, Grail Guardians or Questing Knights, simply because of how bullshit Questing Knights are. Loads of AP damage is terrifying on a cavalry unit, due to the way AP damage and charge multiplicatively interact. Army is bouncing around. Yay! And they're going to screw up some Skaven. Actual yay! Oh, hey! That's a Skaven clan entirely eliminated. I believe that's the one that their legendary lord, that one of their legendary lords belongs to, not... I want to say Ikit Claw, but that's the wrong one. God, it's not Than Quall, even if Than Quall really should be in the game. Grumble, 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 grump, creative assembly. Grumble, 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 grump. Ah, I should know who you are. He was one of the starting legendary lords, too. Master of play, have played Kreese and Plague Monks as his focus. Greek Head Taker was the other lord. Gah! Why can I not remember Clan Septic's legendary lord name? Really, Brain? Really? You're gonna do this to me? Fine.
to speed this mockery of gameplay up. As once the Warriors of Chaos faction has moved, I don't care what any other factions do at this point. I just have such a gigantic empire and such gigantic amounts of money flowing in that it's very hard to actually hurt me. I just have so much mass and so many defenses everywhere. Heck, if I fought every defense I had, I could probably just stop chaos with raw bulk of walls. Just so many walls they can't do anything. Okay, the Puppets of Chaos doing things is actually slightly worrisome, and I'm not going to fight this as I get wrecked. Goodbye. Oh well, I killed some of their troops. Nothing really much to worry about. I did lose some money, but honestly, as I said, at this point there's very little reason to care about anything but the Forces of Chaos in the north, because the ones in the south are much weaker, and there are several legendary lords down here garrisoning the actually interesting settlements. Though granted with the golden that I might have wanted to garrison Belalade, now that I think about it, damn it. Oh well. Live and let live and learn, live and learn. Or at least live and remember basic tactics, you Egypt. <laughs> Vengeance will make me happy. What do you guys you even there? do? Go away! You're orcs! Stop trying to negotiate with the dwarves! Orcs negotiate with dwarves as likely as orcs negotiating with elves properly. Again, I did do that, didn't I? Fine, as likely as dwarves negotiating with elves in the fluff. Fine, right the wrong. I'll be taking uh, more recruitment costs, but more leadership in return. I got a trade, apparently. Pathfinder! Clan Borglim. Okay. Camp. Lord of the Angren. And camp! Much faster replenishment. From 20 turns to 5 turns there. And for the really important unit of my organ guns, from 20 turns to 3 turns. That's going to help a lot. Rune Smith, I don't really have anything I can get you that I actually want, so I'm gonna have to get you things that I don't really want you to have, like wound. Uh, at least the orcs have been wiped out. Right? I don't think there are any orc factions left at all. I see enough of the map that I should be able to make sure. Yeah, all that's left is the Bone Clubbers tribe, but I wouldn't really count them as orcs so much as just a nuisance. <laughs> I don't remember to recruit more hammers though. For Fergil Redmain. Three hundred forty-six percent research speed. Three hundred forty-six percent. Three hundred forty-six percent research speed. It's a bit silly. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's try trading next, I think. And if my noises come from the microphone, right, you might even know what I was actually planning on doing next. If it doesn't, then it'll stay mysterious along with my my miscellaneous grunts. I'm very good at miscellaneous grunt. Carricade Peaks Garrison, everyone! Still pretty scary, aside from the miners. Let's face it, miners are never scary. Ever. Just 
Still haven't figured out what to do with you. You have all the things I actually want out of these places built. Well, or building. If you dare. Just get you a little XP. Actually, no, the these guys aren't at war with me. You summoned me. In that case, go bully chaos. Oh! Can we hinder their replenishment? Are they replenishing? Yes, they are. I have the forge fires glowing. Ah, oh, this is a very powerful tabletop magical item, actually. And it does about what it does on the tabletop, give you more power. Beyond your comprehension. Oh, sure, I, you're beyond my comprehension, I'm sure. That's why you've been having your asses kicked all the time. You're beyond my comprehension. You're so majestic and amazing. You're such a badass. You're beyond my comprehension. You're some random jackars who thinks he's cool. Using guild roots. Oh? Oh, I can upgrade Kislev! Do it, do it, do it, do it. I want Kislev to be a nice, strong settlement so I can use it as fortification against the incoming hordes. Because let's face it, the Empire is not up to holding in the north. Well, they're, hold, they're up to holding their lines, but the War with the Wood Elves is not helping one little bit. Damn elves! My anger burns bright. Hate. Revenge incarnate. Yeah, I stay here for two more turns, and then I retreat to Volksgrad and encamp at that location. If I manage to sub... If I drum up, it's going to take two turns, then six turns. I don't think I'm going to have enough time to upgrade the keep and then get walls here, but if I do manage that somehow, that will be hilarious and it will be delicious. Mostly hilarious. Actually, that makes me wonder. Let me look at something for a moment, ladies and gentlemen. Does this give you a garrison buff? No, it doesn't. You need the ranger barracks for a garrison buff. The ranger outpost just gets you some okay side benefits that I don't really care for right now. All right then, nothing left to do except, can I trade with anyone? No, good. Right, in the turn. <sighs> Come on game, hurry up. Come on, game. Okay, the Empire is doing things. Are they going to try and take Grunberg? Are they going to deliberately trigger the ambush? I think they might have been deliberately trying to trigger the ambush, but they pa but the AI passed up the ambush because they didn't think they could win it. Because the Wood Elf ambush was 14 cards against 20. Well, Wood Elves are quite good on the ambush. There's That's still a six card difference. That's nothing to sneeze at. You can still eke out victory, don't get me wrong, but, yeah. Now for the actual faction I care about, and the dangerous faction. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Okay, Sigvald's army is less funny, that's giants and hell cannons. The two big threats in chaos to a dwarven line, that and Great Weapon Chosen, but Great Weapon Chosen are a threat to literally everyone's front line. I am not even joking. I have yet to find anything that actually isn't threatened by a line of Great Weapon Chosen. They're kind of stupid. Let's 
speed this up so we can get through the turn quicker and maybe get something interesting done this episode. And again, I suppose killing the ever chosen is mildly entertaining. <laughs> Seriously though, I have no idea if that was interesting to you guys or not. I was somewhat curious, but uh, it wasn't really... The situations that, that I am in to defeat Chaos do not lend themselves particularly well to fascinating tactics as it's often just build this ridiculous infantry line, plunk them down, and let Chaos dash on, on you like waves against a wall. Fix the Lotto Confederated. Cool. And I found the Sentinels of Zeti. Also cool. Neither of these are things I care about whatsoever. I actually want to see what the Warherd does. Resist AoE. That is. That is completely useless. You are garbage. Good day, sir. Did those two Chaos factions just wipe each other out? I should have had that on fast forward. What the hell? I think I just saw Chaos kill off a bunch of Chaos. Fuck? I might turn on the beast path so I couldn't have my back lines evaporated, but fuck? Also, cuz the beast could have just done some really nasty stuff, but. To war! True king of eight peaks. Local recruitment I can't do much with. However. Yay! For old style regiments of renown being completely busted and broken and imbalanced. Everyone loves that, right? One more turn. And I yes. retreat. In the meantime, this is complete waste, mind. These warriors will be replaced as soon as I possibly can. But they're more corpses for the grinder, at least. As cold and hard as that is. Casting the runes. I'm going. Hello, Kazi Borgrog! Have you heard the word of your lord and savior, Grugni? That word is... DIE! <laughs> because... The dwarves don't like chaos. They really don't. Alright, what do you need? You can do things, okay? Get better at doing things. Yes, let's move. A rune smith's duty is never done. That's not a bad item at all, actually. Rune bearer. Uh, 
All right. At least the, there's an advantage to the fact that I stalled Chaos's first wave out. It means that their second wave, when it crashes on Volksgrad, is going to have issues. Also, good grief, Kazid Borgrok. Good grief. Never. I wonder if I should just have a dedicated stack for Krokodrok. I don't think I'm gonna make a dedicated stack for Krokodrok. Oh, I can just grab level 12 lords out of my ass? I can just pull one out of my ass? Okay, I'll take that, happily. Alright! Locally recruit me troops, mate! Go! Get going! Actually, no, because next turn I'm going to want to recruit Let some, uh... Begin. Ironbreakers to this Ready. army, globally. Ready. I'm also going to want to global in troops with Fergil, actually. Three of them, so... Ready. Alright, six slots, but that's still two archers. Skulf Silverhorn, I'm going to set as my northern defense force. Bronze Scour Scowl is going to keep is going to stay on anti-chaos duty, however, as he did beat up the Ever Chosen in very slow combat. <laughs> I suppose it's fitting that he tried to break a wall and failed, in essence. Alright. In turn, and then in episode, I think, because we don't really have much else to do. Varg, I need to take Faust's Berg Breaker out, all over here in Erengrad, right, don't care. Ungrol is over here, he has a pretty annoying army, in all honesty. Well, not much I can do. There are bigger priorities, like these bastards. In the turn. <sighs> ah, there's a population surplus in the area of Prague. I'll use that to upgrade Prague itself and use that as another fallback position once I actually lose Volksgrad. If I lose Volksgrad, really dwarfs, dwarven campaigns can be thought of as, in essence, a long chain of repeated failures at concentric defenses because... I'm making Chaos bleed massively just by myself with, to be honest, not enough investment up there. There's a reason I'm building an entire other stack. Just, I'm pulling out, I'm pulling an entire stack out of my ass and just going, yeah, up there, I, I need some more troops here. Boop! Troops, go, get work, just kill things, do your stuff, whatever. Sigvald! Sigvald, 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 Sigvald. What are you doing? Besides having a pretty scary army. Are you the only Chaos stack left? Next turn, the recruitment does finish. That's not up for debate. The recruitment does finish next turn. I'm getting an idea, ladies and gentlemen. I have an idea.
did you get gold rank peasants? What? I know that Britannia has a few stat buff for presents that makes them vaguely acceptable in combat, but what? Uh, <coughs> what? I'm confused now. I'm very confused now. Mm. Alright, fast forward this. Come on, game. Acknowledge they hit the fast forward button, please. You're not going to acknowledge that. Okay, you're an asshole. Oh. Fiery Convocation is actually a pretty scary spell. I'll say that much, but wow. There is striking range of Nagar on the High Elves. That... For the Dark Elves, that's terrifying, because the Dark Elves are usually the ones on the offensive in this war, in the fluff. However, in gameplay, I've noticed that the High Elves tend to wreck their black cousin's face. Like, really wreck their face. Maybe it's just because they can trade and the Dark Elves don't really do this whole trading thing, they do the backstabbing thing more. I am revenge incarnate. Know this. If you want to make do anything but declare war on me, off. Off. Get out of here. I don't need money and I don't need you. Undead. The war herd is basically gone. The puppets I don't care for. The servants might be a threat if I bother. I'm not going to bother. Unless they try and attack my own troops, which I guess I bother. If they attack like actual army and it's close, I might fight it just for the hell of it, but I'm unlikely to bother. That really sums up my attitude towards pretty much everything that isn't the main chaos force at this point. Eh, why bother? <laughs> Because let's face it, at this point, why bother with anything that isn't the main chaos? Well, goodbye. Get stuffed. How did you get any kills whatsoever? I should have played it. Well, at least I'm recruiting another army up there. Good grief. But hey, their forces were totally wiped out, so I can just bust in and take their settlement. Yay! Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! Not bad. Shut up. Shut up. Alright. Now here's my bad idea. And this is a very bad idea because if Chaos has any more forces, this is going to wreck my face right off. I will do as you ask. It is time. Wounds here. Onwards. What? Drink them. It looks, however, like Chaos has no more forces. All right, then. Let's end off the episode here, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like the final stand of the of the Warriors of Chaos is not going to be the ever-chosen of the gods. No. Slanesh, god of desire and excess, has decided that his champion will be the final one standing in this war. And you know what? That's not going to be enough for you, Slaneshi boy, or Slaneshi girl. Slaneshi's weird like that. 
don't think too hard about it. So, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below or in the threads on space belts and sufficient velocity that will be left in the description. And for now, goodbye!